Now let's go back to envelopes for a second. Operator has seven envelopes, one for each oscillator, a filter envelope, a pitch envelope, and an envelope for the LFO. The envelopes I use the most are the individual oscillator envelopes and the filter envelopes. But before I talk about that, let me go over the filter parameters. The filter section offers 14 different filter types, including multiple varieties of low pass, band pass, high pass, and notch filters, with 12 and 24 dB attenuation modes. 12 dB of attenuation has a softer slope, while 24 has a steeper slope. You can toggle between the filter and the envelope with these buttons in the display panel. And that works the same way with the oscillators as well, between the oscillator and the envelope. The filter also has options to adjust the frequency and resonance of the filter. You can also drag it if that's easier. But now that I've explained the filter, I'll be able to explain what the envelope does. Again, think of left to right as time, but think of bottom to top as dark to bright. So let me change the envelope amount, which is how much the envelope is affecting the filter. I'll set it to around 80% right now. And bring the filter down a little farther, uh, around 200 hertz or so. Right now, as you can hear, it's a bright sound and then it immediately drops down to a dark sound and it's very quick. As I increase the attack, it starts off dark, brightens up, and then goes back down to dark again. If I bring up the sustain, then the level it's held at when I hold down a key will be a middle brightness between the lightest and the darkest point. Operator is a polyphonic synthesizer, meaning that you can have several voices at the same time or hold down several notes to make a chord. This can be adjusted in the global shell at the very bottom right. You see over here voices. This is how many voices that you can play at the same time. So right now it's set to six. So I can play no more than six notes at the same time. The global control shell also allows you to adjust the overall volume. And this is the overall volume for all of operator. Above the global shell is the pitch shell. Here you can adjust the pitch envelope, spread, and transpose. The pitch envelope can be turned on and off over here. Transpose will adjust the input notes of operator. So if I'm clicking C, and if I transpose it up one, or transpose up an octave, To make things easier, if you hold down shift and then click up and down on your keyboard, it jumps an octave. Operator also has a spread parameter, which creates a stereo chorus by using two voices per note and panning one to the left and one to the right. The two notes are detuned, and the amount of detuning can be adjusted with the spread control in the pitch selection of the shell. Note that things like spread, LFO, and filter, turning them on, causes you to use more CPU. If you're on a computer that's having trouble handling a lot of things at the same time, you might want to turn these off if you're not using them. The last thing of note I want to talk about is the glide function in the pitch shell. Once the pitch shell is selected, you can go over here and click the glide, the G button. It's off by default, but if you click it, it turns on and the time lights up. 
This is a polyphonic glide function, which, when activated, new notes will start with the pitch of the last played note and then glide gradually to their own played pitch. And the amount of time it takes to glide from one note to the other can be adjusted here. Now as far as I can think of, those are the main components of Operator. There are plenty of other buttons to press and knobs to twist, but for the most part, these are the most important ones. If you want to know what any of the other parameters do, leave a comment and ask me how they work and I'd be happy to help you out. And remember, the info view to the left is definitely going to help you out here. Whenever you mouse over a parameter, it will tell you exactly what it does. But I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.